How to Clone Jeep GPC2 ECM with Obstar DC706 Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, your ultimate destination for all things automobile diagnostic tools and programmers. If you're passionate about understanding the inner workings of your vehicle and keeping it in top-notch condition, you're in the right place. From in-depth reviews to step-by-step -step tutorials, we've got it all covered. So, before we dive into today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's get started. Cloning a Jeep GPC2 ECM using the Obstar DC706 and the MP001 programmer involves several precise steps. Here's a detailed guide on how to perform this procedure. Required tools and equipment. Obstar DC706 ECU TCU cloning tool. MP001 programmer. Alternatively, P003 or P003 Plus can be used. ECU jumper cables usually bundled with DC-706, MP-001, and jumper cables, GPC-2 ECM, extra power supply, high power DC regulated power supply with a current of at least 5A. Procedure 1. Setup and preparation. Ensure your DC-706 device is updated with the latest software version. Secure a reliable high power DC regulated power supply for the ECU as the standard 2A adapter is insufficient for this task. 2. Select ECM software. On the DC-706, navigate to ECU Flasher and select the latest ECM software version. Search for Jeep GPEC2 MPC 5566 plus 659320. Select boot mode with MP001 or choose P003, P003 plus if applicable. 3. Network connection. Ensure your device has a stable network connection as the function requires it. 4. Read instructions and wiring diagram. Carefully read the provided instructions and the wiring diagram on the DC-706. For bench and boot operations, use a high-power DC regulated power supply, minimum 5A current, to power the ECU. The standard 2A power adapter is only for charging the device and is not suitable for powering the ECU. 5. Connection setup. MP001 connection. Directly connect without a 120 ohm resistor. P003 or P003 plus connections. Use a 120 ohm resistor between the can high and can low wires. 6. Working in boot mode. Open the ECU shell to access the necessary connection points. Follow the prompts on the DC706 to connect the wires appropriately. Ensure all connections are secure and follow the provided wiring diagram accurately. Siebter Lokate Boot Pin After completing the wiring, locate the boot pin as instructed by the DC-706. 8. Establish connection. Press connect on the DC-706. Once connected successfully, proceed to read the ECU data. 9. Read original ECU data. Read and save the EXT EEPROM data from the original ECU. Read and save the INT flash data from the original ECU. 10. Write data to new ECU. Write the saved EEPROM and flash data into the new ECU. Ensure the writing process completes successfully. 11. Final steps. Once the writing is complete, install the new ECU in the vehicle. The new ECU should now be operational without the need for further programming. Notes. Ensure all connections are secure and follow the instructions meticulously. Use the recommended power supply to avoid communication failures due to insufficient power. If using the P003 or P003 Plus connection, do not forget the 120 ohm resistor between can high and can low wires. By following these steps, you can successfully clone a Jeep GPEC2 ECM using the Obstar DC706 and MP001 programmer. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, Please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below letting me know your thoughts or any questions you might have. Your support means the world to me and helps keep this channel going. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with fellow automobile enthusiasts. Together, we can make the world of car diagnostics and programming a bit easier for everyone. Until next time, take care and happy diagnosing.